designers. Look what I got in the mail today. Let's get into this. All right, designers, these are the pieces that I have. We're gonna start off with this piece right here. If you don't have this, you can't do anything with the machine. This comes with the machine, but it costs $10. You definitely need this piece before you do anything. Next, we're going to talk about the hole cutters. This is the bottom punch and this is the top. This piece right here makes the garments. Okay, that's the tool for the garment to put it together. This one right here is seven millimeters. That's a little over one fourth. And this one right here is 10 millimeters. This one cuts for the 10 millimeter garments and that's the tool. But I have a seven millimeter and they don't sell the tool. So I said, what am I gonna do? They said they don't sell it because people don't really buy it. So I have an idea. I do have eyelids and they are one fourth. So what I could do since I use these two is make the hole with the cam press tool, which looks like that, and I could just put the eyelid in. Once I put the eyelid in, I use the other tool to close it up since I don't have a tool for cam. So this is the tool to close it up. This does not cut for nothing, but it could close the eyelids without a problem. It's just that it cannot make a hole for fabrics. Um, I use a lot of thick fabrics and I use a lot of interface. So it just doesn't make holes. It's not strong enough. That's what made me buy the cam press tool. When you press it down, this is what it looks like. That's the garments. I use the cam press tool for that. But for the eyelid, I had to use that regular tool. But that seven millimeter cut is perfect. I'm so happy I got that little piece. But I am gonna say if I have to choose, I will stick with the garments. I wish they did have the seven millimeter garments because I don't really like the eyelids, the back of it. It has this thing that I don't like, it sticks to stuff. And the garments, they're flat, you see? So I kinda wish that they did sell it because the eyelids is, I'm not really satisfied with it. But what can I say? We have to use these sometimes for the size. So, hey, that's what it is. And you cannot buy those grommets from another company. It won't work for Cam, just to let you guys know that. The company tells you that on the website and on videos. Other companies do the same thing. It just won't work. So, if you buy Cam, you have to buy the tools for Cam. Now, I'm going to show you guys how it's really made. Let's do it. Remember, you can't do anything without this right here. If you don't have this, then the machine is not going to work. So we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it in the bottom. Next, we're gonna take the bottom punch and we're gonna put it with the adapter. It does come with a nail, but I don't really need it. We're gonna start off with the 10 millimeter. That's a little over 3 eighths of a hole. So we're gonna start cutting some fabric. We take the screw and put it on the top. This is how I do it. I leave my finger right there. It makes it easier to screw. We're gonna use this fabric. It is interfaced. Let's do one layer first. You gotta hear that click. You hear that little click? Here is the hole and that's only for one layer. So let's try two layers with interface. See, it's doubled. Once you hear the click, you already know the fabric was cut already. This machine is really good. It went through two layers. Let's try to fold it one more time. Wow, it's good, isn't it? I know you guys are like, yes. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, let's do another one. It's so satisfying.
So now we're going to change it and we're going to put the seven millimeter, which is the one that's a little over one fourth. You can still use the bottom punch. It's actually for all sizes, the bottom. So the sizes on the top changes, which is a seven millimeter, the 10 millimeter, the 12, 16, and so on. They also have five millimeter, which the hole is real small. But the punch in the bottom doesn't change unless you use it a lot. And then you have to get a new one because, you know, things wear out, right? <laughs> so we put it in and we're going to make a hole through two layers. You can't say the machine is not good because now you know it's good. We're gonna double it up. I'm actually happy I got this machine. Um, I made the video so you guys can see it and it can help you because I know sometimes you guys are trying to figure out how to make the hole with the scissors and then you make an extra hole and then you rip the fabric by mistake. Things like that happens, I've been through it. I do understand. Now we're going to take the pieces out. We're going to do the 10 millimeter grommets. This is the tool. This piece right here goes in the bottom. And this goes on the top. We're gonna get the front grommet and put it inside the hole like this. That's the big piece. And we're gonna lay it here, right in that hole. Now with the back, this is the back piece right here, but we're not gonna put it on this. We're gonna turn it over the flat side and lay it there. Like this. Then you squeeze it. See how it looks? It look good, don't it? For the seven millimeter, we don't have the tool, but we do have this to squeeze it. Let's put the eyelet in the hole, then put the back piece. Once you do that, you're gonna use this to squeeze like this. The eyelid too is only good for this. To make holes is just not going to work. You're gonna waste your time and you're gonna be disappointed. Also, what I don't like about the eyelids is the back piece. I do like the grommets because it's flat, but I do have to use these eyelids sometimes. I have no choice. And you can also see the difference here. If you're a designer that uses grommets a lot, then this press tool is perfect for you. Here is another video you can check out. It's how to make bus cups. All right, designers, don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye, guys.